Harry helped me enormously because it, um, he made me realize how personal this story was to him. And, uh, and I realized that he had a real vested interest in ensuring that the character never became a cliche um, and that she was able to have the full complexity and humanity that she deserved. Um, I had a lot of, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I had a lot of judgment coming into the project because I'm someone who's incredibly clean living and um, I don't drink, don't smoke, don't even drink coffee. So, um, <laughs> no. How are you so. awake right now? <laughs> Hot water and lemon. I highly recommend it. Um, but no. clean living to the max. <laughs> So to go from me to like a crack addict is quite a big jump. Um, and I really didn't know how I was going to do that. But uh, YouTube was amazing. I um, researched incredible documentaries um, on crack addiction, interviews with crack addicts. Um, they were all online. And um, it helped me enormously. There were two things that really struck a chord with me. One was a woman who likened her addiction to being in a relationship with a psychopath. Because she said, in the beginning, the psychopath makes you feel like the most beautiful person in the world. You're euphoric. You feel so in love. And then once you're deeper into the relationship and it's got, he's got his claws into you, then he starts to ravage and destroy you. So that's what helped me understand how you could love something, be addicted to something, but also hate it and desperately, desperately be trying to get away from it. So that was one of the insights that really helped me to find Paula. Yeah.